Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to actually run code for the dot programming language. So first of all, if you literally just Google dot, I think I said dot, I mean dot, dot programming language, I'll provide a link to this, it's just dotlang.org. You can go to install dot, and if you are developing for Flutter, which is sort of a competitor to React, Reactive, Reactive, which allows you to develop mobile apps. If you want to develop for web, you select this one and server this one. But I'm purely in this ser series, just showing you the syntax and the nuances of the Dart language. I'm gonna have a separate series covering how to do it, you know, for Flutter web, etc. So just go to Dartpad, and again, I'll provide a link to Dartpad, pad, or Dartpad dot dartlang dot org. And once you're on here. If you just click run, it, it'll run whatever code you've got on the left. And that's it, that's actually all you have to do. So these videos will be based around this website. The code that you learn will be applicable to the Flutter framework, to the web framework, and to the server framework, anywhere basically where the Dart programming language can be used. Even though I'm running on a Mac, OS because it's in your web browser doesn't really matter what OS you're on and even what browser you're using simple stuff there's actually some cool samples so we could you know have a look at a simple hello world you could have a look at int to double conversion and that has a class inside of it you can have a look at mixins you can have a look at web sockets so there's a few cool stuff you know built in but I'm going to cover all the features throughout this series. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.